The oaks are important keystone species in the plant communities of the eastern United States. And because of this, I am often asked the question, what oak should I plant in my yard? While I understand why people want to plant an oak tree, they are the highest ranked host plant after all and produce acorns eaten by a ton of critters. The reality is that many properties, especially those with smaller yards, are just not suitable for large trees. Shrubs are a much better fit for these smaller properties. If only there were a smaller shrubby oak. Oh wait, there is. The dwarf chinkapin oak, Quercus prinoides, sometimes referred to as the dwarf chestnut oak, is a shrubby member of the white oak group that grows from three to 12 feet tall in the wild with about an equal spread. When grown in richer soil than it is found in naturally, it may attain a height of 20 feet with an equal spread. It can grow with a single trunk or have multiple trunks and may form a small clonal thicket in some situations. If you love learning about pint-sized oaks for your yard, pretend that like button is a chinkapin oak acorn and bury it like a squirrel. The range of dwarf chinkapin oak appears large, but it is spotty across most of its range, except in the northeastern states and in western Missouri. Part of this is due to the soils dwarf chinkapin oak prefers to grow in. Normal to dry acidic soils that contain rock or sand. It is often found growing on soils with sandstone or shale bedrock near the surface. The other reason for it not being documented in areas where it would seem it should be found is dwarf chinkapin oak is often overlooked due to its resemblance to young chinkapin oak and chestnut oak. Dwarf chinkapin oak is a shrub that is sold by many state and private nurseries that specialize in wildlife trees and shrubs, and it is quite adaptable and can grow in a wide variety of soils if they are not too moist. It requires full sun to do its best and will not tolerate heavy shade from overstory trees. Dwarf chinkapin oak, like all oaks, is monoecious, meaning it has male and female flowers on the same shrub. Bloom time is March through May, depending on location, and the long, yellowish male catkins that form at the base of the young twigs are far more visible than the small, yellow-red female flowers at the ends of the twigs. The flowers are wind-pollinated. Fertilized flowers will form into the familiar acorns oaks are known for, which will ripen in September and October. Since dwarf chinkapin oak is in the white oak group, its acorns mature in one season and it will normally produce a crop every year. The amount of acorn production will vary from year to year and is largely dependent on the weather. A huge bonus to these small oaks is they begin producing at a very early age, often within three to five years. It is hard to beat the oaks when it comes to benefits to pollinators and wildlife and the dwarf chinkapin oak is no exception. It is a host plant for up to 436 species of caterpillars, an all-you-can-eat buffet for songbird nestlings and insectivorous birds, tree frogs, and small mammals like the flying squirrel. One of the caterpillars that will host on oaks are the impressively large caterpillars of the super cool imperial moth. Dun 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 dun! Imperial! If you know where that imperial bit came from, let me know down in the comments. I know some of you out there know. Beyond providing tasty soft-bodied insects to feed baby birds and other critters, the shrubby growth of dwarf chinkapin oak is also an excellent nesting spot for many scrub nesting songbird species like the prairie warbler. Native bees and honeybees will collect the abundant pollen from dwarf chinkapin oak. Of course, the acorns are eaten by mammals ranging in size from squirrels to black bears and are a favorite of the white-tailed deer. The acorns are on the smaller side and are also eaten by many bird species including woodpeckers, blue jays, and wild turkeys. Deer will browse on the foliage and twigs, and rabbits will strip the bark from younger shrubs, so be sure to protect newly planted dwarf chinkapin oaks accordingly. Doug Talame brought the importance of oaks as a keystone species to the public in his excellent book, The Nature of Oaks, which is a must read for anybody interested in native plants. It is available in print and Kindle versions, which I will link in the description. I'll also put a link to a free Audible trial in case you want to listen to this awesome book for free. You may be wondering how dwarf chinkapin oak got its unusual name. The name comes from the resemblance of its leaves to those of the Allegheny chinkapin, a smaller, shrubbier cousin of the mighty American chestnut. Allegheny chinkapin is also a superb wildlife shrub, and you can learn all about it in this video and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.